I am still very confused because I don't know the perfect consistency for Kuno. Is it supposed to be watery or a bit thick, like having this pop consistency? Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to make Kuno Zaki and this is my very first time and I want you to read my attempt. I'll begin by washing my guinea corn. Since it's my first attempt, I didn't want to get so much just in case it doesn't turn out well. I also heard that the white guinea corn are better to make Kuno Zaki. What do you think? Does this brown one make any difference? Let me know your thoughts on the comment section as I would love to take corrections just in case of next time. So you want to thoroughly wash this because it has a lot of dirt and sand. I won't take you through that process of how long I washed this guinea comb but I thoroughly washed this and it came out so clean. The next thing I'm going to wash here is my millet. You can wash all together but I chose to wash it separately just to be sure that there is no single death in it so yeah it's to my first time as if you stumbled on this video maybe youtube pushed it to you or you searched yourself i want to let you know that Shay, you know that everything happens for a reason maybe there's a reason why you're watching this now so i want you to take a minute of your time to subscribe to this page and also like this video if you think this was helpful and share to your family and friends don't forget to also turn on the notification bell and if you're a returning subscriber i see how much you love me may god bless you for watching my videos thank you so 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 much i really do appreciate thank you so let's continue i just finished washing the millet now and the next thing i'm going to wash is my tiger knot this tiger knot was so so dirty and i selected it i took out the bad ones and i washed the good ones so the next thing i did was to add the millet guinea corn and tiger knot in a big bowl i'll add water to this then i'll let this soak overnight if you've made kunozaki before even if you have an idea of how it's made or if you've not made it at all before i want you to watch this video to the end i want you to point out where i made mistakes and i have questions for you too so this was the next day i'm going to quickly wash this again then i'll start blending if you don't have a strong blender at home you can use the industrial blender it works perfectly too after washing the next thing you want to do is to take out some of the guinea corn tiger nuts and millet keep it in a separate bowl I will show you when to blend that so after transferring this into this bowl i will proceed to blending this now with my canewood blender you can use any blender you have at home but make sure it is very very strong so i'm going to blend this quantity i put in the bowl i'm going to blend it part by part i don't want to overcrowd the blender so it doesn't end up spoiling while blending i'm going to add some cloves and ginger to it i see some people use pepper i don't know if that is a valid um, ingredient to add so this is the other part i took out i'm going to add some fresh sweet potatoes some persons use dried sweet potatoes and dried ginger but this is what i'm using so that is the blended sweet potatoes and millet and this is the blended um millet and ginger with clove mixture then i transferred this into a big bowl because that was not so big enough for it then here is where my question comes the instruction was you were going to add boiling water to this and it turned to pop but when i added mine it did not turn to pop so my question is was the mistake from the blending process did i add so much water blending this please let me know your thoughts on the comment section because it didn't turn to pop i had to boil this so in the process of boiling it thickened i was so happy because i was just thinking how will i trash all these things i made so this is it i'm going to let this rest for a few minutes about 20 to 30 before minutes. i added the potato and millet mixture remember i told you to blend it separately so this is it i added it and i mixed it till everything is well combined so i'll leave this on my counter and let it cool completely so if you've watched till this very point Please tell me some of the errors or mistakes you've noticed on the comment section. So this was hours later and this is how it looks. It's now very watery and all I'll do is to strain this. Most of the videos that really got me confused after watching was after straining this, they just added ice to it and added sugar then they drank this. But the kunu I had or I've tasted 
was thick like it was like puppy puppy consistency so that's why i'm confused i tried this one after making it i added ice and sugar to it then it wasn't giving me that kuno vibe. this was the final look like i told you i didn't like this too watery consistency i added this to my pot and i started cooking it again till it thickened a bit you can cook this for a longer time depends on the kind of consistency you want if you want yours to be too too thick cook it for a longer time but i didn't want mine to be too thick or too watery i just want it to be in between so i cooked it for a few minutes after that i let this cool completely and this is how it looks i'm still eager to know my mistakes and i'm open for correction so this is what i got after i finished cooking and i transferred this into my bottles stored in my fridge and i served this in two ways which i'm about to show you the first method was the first consistency we got which is the watery consistency i added sugar added ice to it gave it a good mix and this is the final look and the second one was the cooked one i sweetened this with condensed milk that is how it's being sold here in Port Harcourt, nigeria so tell me your preferred consistency is it the too watery or not too watery thank you so much for watching to the end please ask me questions and don't forget to turn on the notification bell and subscribe if you've not bye guys i'll see you on the next one